I really shouldn't be laughing, but this just tickles me because Cynthia Bailey has made this announcement that she will not be returning to Real Housewives of Atlanta as if we didn't already know. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Welcome back to another episode with your host, Tabitha. Here is where we have some straightforward discussions on political and social news, television show recaps, and of course, everyone's favorite, celebrity gossip. These discussions are to simply chat about what's happening in the world around us. The intent is not to be mean or malicious, but to remain informed on the more serious topics and to just have a little fun discussing the craziness that surround our favorite celebrities. So grab yourself a drink and a snack. Sit back and relax and enjoy the conversation. Hey, my beautiful souls, welcome back to another episode. I am your host, your girl, Tabitha, and Cynthia Bailey has made an announcement that she will not be returning to Real Housewives of Atlanta for next season. She put out a statement over in her Instagram stories. You could check the community wall and you can also check uh, my Instagram page. And there will be a copy of her announcement over there. Before we get into it, let me welcome all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you've come across this video and are not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. We talk about a plethora of things. We talk about politics. I just uploaded a quick video letting everybody know that the George Floyd bill, the bill for police reform is now dead. We all know that Republicans were not negotiating in good faith. And Tim Scott was there. Um, what's the word? Tim Scott was their do boy, basically. And he was their fall guy. Right. And we knew they weren't going to negotiate in good faith. We knew that um, Tim Scott would be the face of the Republican Party, not being able to negotiate a, a police reform bill that would help to protect black people. And we knew that after they came to the table to not negotiate in good faith, that they would figure out a way to blame Democrats. Right. None of this is a surprise to us, but you could check out the little the quick clip. Um, which provided uh, a video where uh, Cory Booker has some things to say about the breakdown. Um, we talk about politics. We talk about celebrity gossip. We talk about what's happening social justice wise and what's popping off over on social media. And we have a good time doing it. We don't have a lot of mess, a lot of drama. I don't tolerate disrespect. Um, I don't like people getting slick at the mouth with me. Or with anybody else commenting down in my comment section. I don't tolerate it. Me and my block button have a special relationship. And if I feel that you are getting slick at the mouth or being disrespectful towards me, your host, or to anyone else commenting down in the comment section, I will block you. And so because of that reason, we pretty much have a good time over here. There isn't a lot of mess, a lot of drama. So if you this is a place you would like to be. I welcome you. I would love to have you. Make sure everyone please hit that thumbs up. When you hit that thumbs up, it helps to push my videos out into the algorithm. Now, let's get into what Cynthia Bailey had to say um, in her announcement that she won't be returning to Real Housewives of Atlanta. This is what she posted over in her Instagram story. After much thought and consideration, I have made the very difficult and heartfelt decision not to return for the next season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Thank you, NBC Universal, Bravo, and Truly Original for over a decade of partnership 
I can't wait to see what we do next. Thank you to my Real Housewives of Atlanta castmates for 11 of the most unbelievable years of my life and the most incredible and unforgettable memories. I am so grateful to have had this amazing journey and I am anxiously waiting to embark on new adventures. Most importantly, thank you to my fans. I could not have done it without your blessings, love and support. Without the fans, none of this would have been possible. I love and appreciate all of you. It's time to move on to my next chapter and I look forward to sharing it with all of you. See you guys soon. And she signs it, Cynthia Bailey Hill. Now, let me tell you, that was a superb announcement. She worded this beautifully. And and I believe that, you know, she is feeling this from deep within her heart. She has chosen her words carefully. She is gracious. She is appreciative and she's leaving the door open for future opportunities to come her way. I love this announcement from Cynthia Belly, but we knew we knew she was not coming back with all of the um, tea that's been dropping And her name is really nowhere amongst that T and who's going to be returning. We kind of like had an idea. So this announcement does not come as a surprise. I was one that liked Cynthia Bailey on the show. She made some missteps. She had me questioning her at times, but I liked um, her, her being able to be neutral. She was messy sometimes and things like that. Um, The last season, she got on my nerves with um, trying to plan this wedding smack dab in the middle of a pandemic. Right. And she just was not hearing what her future husband was trying to tell her. She got on my nerves with that. But eventually she ended up getting it. I think it was Kenya that finally broke it down for her. And the one thing that I'm happy that Cynthia was able to achieve on this show, not only has she had some businesses pop off, uh, you know, to discuss whether they were successful is a whole nother thing, but she was able to have some businesses. She was able to get her daughter on. Her daughter is a huge social media influencer now. So she was able to accomplish that and she was able to find and marry the love of her life. And he's doing well financially. He has several projects that he's involved in. So Cynthia Bailey won't be walking away from Real Housewives of Atlanta destitute wondering when her next paycheck is coming from. You know what I'm saying? Plus, she's also a part of the Real Housewives All-Stars. So you can catch um, Cynthia Bailey on that show. I think that is on Peacock. It's either Peacock or Paramount, one of the P's. Somebody will correct me down in the comment section and I'll appreciate you for that. So I do wish the best to Cynthia Bailey. Um, I, I hope she finds future projects. I hope she doesn't go away in obscurity But either way, I think she will be perfectly happy um, being the wife of Cynthia, uh, of Mike Hill. Y'all get down in the comments. Y'all let me know your thoughts on Cynthia's announcement. Was it a shock to you? Will you miss Cynthia? She said for the next season, maybe that leaves the door open for her to come back in future seasons. But so many of us are kind of like dead tired of Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't know how much longer this show is really going to be. I can't even tell you if I will be here to recap and review the upcoming season. I'm really not interested. So for now, the answer is no, unless something happens that's going to pique my interest. All right, y'all, that's all I got. Y'all have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in the next one. 
Thank you for tuning in to the conversation. Make sure you subscribe and rate the episode. And to stay connected with Tabitha, head on over and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's Tabitha. And you can also follow on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. All the links will be available in the more info box. Until next time, be good to yourselves and each other. And each other.